everybody. My name is Teacher Shelly. I just wanted to share with you today um, a testimony of how an, an encounter time has gone in my classroom previously. Um, this is also a good example for you as you are walking into teaching kids how to walk on encounters and, and how it sometimes looks a little bit different with kids than it would with an adult. So I'm a teacher in a classroom with the age groups from 18 months until they turn three years old. So they're very young, pretty rambunctious, um, and it is actually really amazing to see how they're able to engage with the Lord. Um, here's one example though of a time where it didn't go exactly as I thought it might go, but seeing that the Lord is in, in the room and how he works is so creative with kids. Um, this one particular night, we had prayed beforehand and asked the Lord, um, what do you feel, what do you want for our room tonight? Like what's one word that we should be going after? So what we actually felt was freedom. And for us that looks like, oh yeah, freedom, great. Release freedom in our room and it's gonna be great. We're gonna go on with our night. Um, and as we prayed, we released freedom and within a few minutes, I started to notice the kids all going in different directions, all <laughs> getting really rambunctious, doing different things, not being naughty, not like doing anything dangerous or breaking the rules. They were just literally wild. And I started to realize, I was like trying to kind of manage them like, oh, ugh, what's happening? Let's bring it all back in because we were going to do an encounter time. and. As I prayed, I was like, Lord, what is happening? They're being crazy. This is a big group of kids. And he just said, uh, you asked for them to experience freedom. And this is what they're encountering right now is the spirit of freedom. And they were they were dancing. Some of them were singing. They were just being like, and to, to an adult, it honestly looked like chaos. And so I was like, what do I do in this situation? And I just watched and he, he just led me to some questions like, oh, they're actually not doing anything wrong. They are experiencing freedom. They weren't hurting each other. They were just playing. And and as I realized uh, that they were experiencing freedom, I was invited into this moment of deciding whether or not I was going to let freedom happen or I was going to shut it down with control that made me feel comfortable. And so I just asked the Holy Spirit for good ideas and he was like, why don't you actually move into worship time and let some of them do art and let some of them experience, you know, um, Play-Doh or bubbles or whatever it was because there was so many different things happening. And so that's what we did. And they ended up having the most beautiful time. They were so happy. And I just felt really grateful to the Lord for letting me see what they were experiencing. Was it wrong? It was very childlike. And there's something about letting children experience the Lord in their own way and actually joining in with a childlike attitude that they have and just do bubbles with them or let them dance if they're feeling that in this encounter. So yeah, you can just get really creative and there's something so beautiful about joining with them. So a lot of times we'll dance with them, we'll sing together, we'll pop bubbles together. Um, yeah, we'll just, sometimes it is peaceful and we're sitting on the floor together and asking questions but don't feel discouraged if it doesn't always look like that. Sometimes it looks like them dancing and singing and running around and yeah, just having fun. And Jesus says so many times in the Bible to become like a little child. So I just encourage you as you're leading your kids on encounters to just become like a child with them and go there with them. Thanks you guys.